Brothers and sisters, Liman hadani daftarani. Look at this carefully, Brother Hassan. Hadani daftarani. What is hadani? Ismu shara. And what is coming after ismu shara? Adaf baf. This is badal. Mashallah. You got the idea? See the badal? See, Brother Farooq, how the badal came? Hadani. Pay attention, brother. Hazani adaf tarani. So adaf tarani is your badal. Huh? Sahih? Because it is definite and it is coming after ismo shara. What is the answer? Huma li. Huma mubtada. What is li? Jar majur. Shibu jumla khabar. Two words. Huh? Very good. Liman hatanil mistaratani. Are you with me? Liman Hatanil Mistaratani, ruler. Huh? Then Yunus says, Homa Li. They are mine. Got the idea? So this lesson is very easy, brothers and sisters, because thanks to Dr. Abdurrahim, he, he makes sentences very simple and he wants to understand dual form. But only marfu form, not mansub and majroor. Huh? Okay. You know, uh, I'm sure most of us must have gone to or Umrah or Hajj. When you go to Mecca and you see all those stores, uh, sidewalks, they always shout something. You know what they shout? Realign, realign, realign. What are they saying? Two riyals. But what is riyal lain? It's not marfu form. What is the marfu form of riyalun? Make it dual. Riyalani. Are you with me? Okay, if I say riyalun, what is the marfu form? This is marfu. What is dual? Riya Lani. What will be the Mansu form? We did it yesterday. Riya Laini. Riya Riya Laini. And again, Riya Laini. Okay? So the people are shouting. Riya Laini, Riya Laini, Riya. They won't even say Riya Laini. They will say Riya Laini, Riya Laini, Riya Laini. Means two Riyas. Why are they saying this? Not, not, they are not saying Riya Laini, Riya Laini. They are saying Riya Laini. Because there is a whole sentence which they don't say it, but we have to understand. What is it? You know Riya Laini is a, like a dollar store. Everything is for dollar. Riya Laini, everything is for two Riyas. This is what it is. Kullu shayin. Harf jar. What is it? B. No, what will happen to Riya Lani? It will become Riya Lain. B. Riya. Got the idea? So the whole sentence is hidden. All that we hear is Riya Lain, Riya Lain, Riya Lain. But it means biriya laini. Biriya laini. Are you with me? Okay. But you see, probably the guy who's saying riya laini, he doesn't know what he's saying. <laughs> if you ask him why it is riya laini and what, why not riya laini. Okay. Whenever you will talk about price, B will come. When you will talk about price of something, B half chair will come. Okay. We will study it, inshallah, later on. So I just thought I'll mention it to you. So keep that in mind because I, I want to prepare you slowly, slowly. So the dual form, okay. Kitabani, kitabaini, kitabaini. Kalamani, kalamaini, kalamaini. Okay? So just keep it in mind and you will be doing that exercise, huh? inshallah, in the handbook. Now, brothers and sisters, 
Riyalani, sign of marfu is Alif. In Riyalani, what is the sign of its being majroor? I see harf jar B, uh, Ya. Yeah. Just keep that in mind. Huh? Keep that in mind, inshallah. So now, we go to uh, uh, exercise number one, brothers and sisters. If they ask you about how many brothers you have, even if you have four brothers, you will only reply that I have two brothers. Okay, if you have four sisters, you will say I have two sisters. And if you have no brothers, then also you will say I have two brothers. Are you with me? Because we are practicing the use of dual, inshallah. Uh, if these exercises, what shall I call them? We had halwa puri for a long time. These are all baklava. Brother. <laughs> These are all nice baklava from Syria. Tam kalaman indaka or indaki. Ajib, answer the following question using musanna only. Only dual, nothing else. So, kam kalaman indaka, how will our answer start? Indi. How will it start? Indi. It will start indi. And then, kalamani. Indi. Kalaman. Tam kitaban indaka or indaki? Indi kitabani. I have two books. So what did you say? Indi. So in the, huh? brother and sister? In the plus ya mutakalim. Change into indi. Got the idea? Huh? So when you say indi, how many words are there? Two. Two. What is the first word? In the. In the. Oh, that is your zarf. Shubu jumla khabar. And what is ya mutakalim? Mudafili. That's, that's how you will describe it. Uh, inshallah. Okay. And then if you say kalamani, that is your mubtada. Are you with me, brother Salman? And same way, kitabani will become your mubtada. Sahi. Now you have to understand carefully. How will you answer? Kam saburatan fi fasli kum. Fi fasli kum. How many words? Three. Fi harfjar. There is some majru. Fasli. And then it is mudaf. And what is kum? Mudaf ilahi. Are you with me? So fi fasli kum. Okay. Kam saburatan fi fasli kum. Fi faslina, mashallah. Uh, because kum will become na. Fi faslina saburatani. Or, you want to make it uh, very simple, you say fi hi. What will you say? In it. Uh, you can, either you say fi faslina, or you will say fi hi. In it. Uh, which is the class. It is the class. Inshallah. Kam uh. riyalan indrakiya. Layla. Kam riyalan in the kil al ana ya layla. Kam riyalan in the ki al ana ya layla. What will be the answer? In the riyalan. Okay. Kam dularan in the ka ya hasan. In the? Dularani. Dularun will become dularani. Huh? Kam dolaran hindaki ya sumaya. It's not there. <laughs> Kam ri dolaran hindaki ya sumaya. Indi. What will you say? Indi dolarani. Indi dolarani. We are only practicing jiyana. Kam dolaran hindaka ya salman. Indi dula. I have two dula now. Right. Now comes kam uktan laka ya Ali. Kam uktan laka ya Ali. Kam uktan laka ya Ali. Are you with me? Now your answer will be li. What will be li uktan? Li uktan. Mashallah. Beautiful. Kam amman laki. Kam amman laki ya amina. How many chachas you have? Huh? How many uncles you have? What will you say? 
Li Amani. Amani. Very good. Kam sadikan laka ya Muhammadu. Li sadikani. See, you have to watch how we are using inda and li. Huh? Very important. Huh? If you say, you know, somebody, if you even ask somebody, kam uhtan inda ka, that is very poor Arabic. Kam uhtan laka. Huh? Okay? So if you say to somebody, how many friends you have, kam sadikan laka. Not come sadikan indaka. That will be very poor Arabic. You know, in incorrect. Okay. But then people in the streets will always use like that. You know. Sometimes. Huh? Because they, they are careless, you know. Okay. But if we, if we speak, if Allah blesses us how to speak Arabic, we will speak the purest Arabic. The way our Prophet, beloved Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam spoke. And the way all the Ashabas spoke. <laughs> they all spoke purest Arabic, brother. Because the Quran was revealed in their language. Which they spoke. Today's Arabic is polluted. Huh? Today's Arabic is polluted. But we, inshallah, as non-Arabs, when we learn the language of the Quran, we will try to speak pure Arabic. Now, pure Arabic is spoken, but only in a, in a television, not in movies, but in television, in newscasts of radios, and also in all the khutbas. If you hear khutbas anywhere in the Middle East, the Imam will speak pure Arabic. Huh? But back to street, the Imam will speak the polluted Arabic. It's a sad thing, you know. Anyway. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, here comes another question. Kam taliban jadidan fi faslikum. How will you say fi faslina? Fi faslina talibani. Jadidani. How will you say Talibani? Jadidani. Got the idea? Huh? Fine. So Taliban is Tamiz. Then what is Jadidan? Not. Not. Very good. Kam masjidan fi karyatika ya Zakaria. How many mosques in your village? Huh? So you can say fi karyati in my village or you say fi ha. Huh? Masjidani. What will you say? Masjidani. Fi ha masjidani or fi kariyati in my village. Huh? If I say fi kariyati, how many words I'm using? Fi kariyati. How many words? Three, brother. One, two, and three. Huh? Are you with me? Ja majroor. Muda, muda filehi. Fine. Tam fundukan fi hazashari. Okay, brothers and sisters. Tam fundukan fundukan fi hazashari. So, brother, fundukan, what is fundukan? Tamiz. Huh? What is fi? What is haza? Islam Majur. And brother Farooq, what is Asharia? Badal, mashallah. See, now you are getting. Remember, her, you saw Ismu Shara. Then it is Badal. Huh? Okay? For sure. Okay? Inshallah. What will be the answer? Fi Shari'i. How will you answer? Fi Shari'i. Fundukani. Fundukani. Kam akhan laki ya suat. Kam akhan laki ya suat. What will be the answer? Li huh? akhawani. Now we have to uh, check the spelling. Huh, brother? See, akhun dual is akhawani. Okay? The dual is akhawani. Huh? Akhawani. 
Huh? And Abun, what will be the jewel of Abun? Abavani, Abavani, okay? When you say Abavani, it doesn't mean you have two fathers. Abavani means mother and father. Huh? Parents. Abavani will means parents. <laughs> Fine, brothers and sisters. Tam akhan laki ya swat li akhavani. See, Dr. Abdurrahim has mentioned al akhu musannahu akhavani. Got the idea? The dual of it is akhavani. Fine. Are you okay, brothers and sisters? So far, so good? Huh? You are understanding? Everything is clear? Now, Ikra waktub. What is it, brothers and sisters? Ikra waktub. Huh? Ikra waktub. Fine. Remember, the khabar is of five kinds. In our simple way. Huh? We are trying to simplify everything. Khabar is five kinds. Number one, it is mufrat. One word. When it is one word, it is always marfu. Then number two can be jar majroor, shibu jumla. Then number three can be zarf and mudafilahi. Number four, it can be jumla failure. And number five, jumla ismiya. Now jumla ismiya, people always get gavrified. But inshallah, we'll try to make it very simple, inshallah. And the way I will explain you, inshallah, you'll find it, it's not difficult. Khalidun. What is it? Khalidun. Mubtada. Okay? Brother, leave the Mubtada aside. Put it on the back burner. Big, big line. Huh? Sister Salma, Brother Muhammad, put a big line after Khalidun. Now there is another sentence starting. What is the sentence? Lahu ibnani wa bintan. Fine. What is Lahu? Char majroor. Huh? And then it is khabar. But khabar for what? Ibnani. So what is Ibnani? Muqtada. What is the sign of its being marfu? Alif. Then came waw. What is waw? Ataf. Wa bintani. What will you say bintani? Ma'atufun ala Ibnani. Sister so, Salma, you got the idea? Bintani is connected by waw to Ibnani. Are you? Now this is your sentence. So what is this sentence doing here? It is coming as a khabar for Khalid. Are you with me? It is coming as a khabar. Did you get it, Brother Muhammad? Yes. Huh? MashaAllah. Jumla Ismiya came as a khabar for Muftada. Our first Muftada. Got the idea? What was our first Muftada? Khalid. Huh? And then we had a jumla in which we also found Muftada and Khabar. So that Muftada and Khabar, Brother Salman, now the whole jumla is coming as a Khabar for Khalid. So as we know, the jumla Ismiya can also come as a Khabar. So this is your jumla Ismiya coming as a Khabar. Huh? Inshallah. Fi hadal bayti. What is Fi hadal bayti? Fi harjar, hada, ism majrur al bayti, badal, badal al bayti, badal, jar majrur shibu jumla khabar. Where is our muftada? Gurfatahni, two rooms, marfu. And what is this? Kabiratani, naat, mashallah, mashallah. Again, number third, brothers and sisters. If you have a highlighter, I want you to highlight number one and number three. Huh? Sister Nasri, highlight only number one and number three. Why? Because in these two sentences, the khabar is Jumla Ismiya. Whenever Jumla Ismiya will come as a khabar, I will ask you to highlight it for you to understand at home, inshallah, properly. I'm sure you can understand here. But when you go home and revise, inshallah, it will come back to you with ease. Huh? Zirabi, 
number one and number three. So we are doing number three. What is the sentence? Fatima. Fatima tu. What is Fatima tu? Muktada. Leave it aside. Huh? Put a line. Sister Subhaya, put a line. Now you take another sentence. I mean the sentence which is following Fatima. Okay? And maybe if you want to put it into a bracket, put it into a bracket. Huh? And put the first sentence, Lahu ibnani wa bintani, also in bracket. Okay? So that is your di- complete sentence coming as a khabar for Muftira. Okay, brother? Laha. What is Laha? Char Majur, Shibu Jumla, khabar. So what is Tiflani? Muftada for laha. Muftada for laha. Okay. Is it marfu? Yes. It is marfu with alif. What is sagirani? Naad. So what is this sentence doing here? Laha tiflani sagirani. Brother Abdul Samad. It is a jumla ismiya coming as a khabar for muftada Fatima. Got the idea? So if you put a bracket to emphasize this more, and highlight it so that highlight will tell you that this sentence has a khabar in the form of jumla ismiya. Huh? Got the idea? Whenever it will come, I will be pointing out to you. And later on, brothers and sisters, inshallah, you will become very strong and you will be able to figure out. And it comes in the Quran, brother. It comes in the Quran. Huh? And you will be able to figure out, inshallah. Now, number four. Li. Ainani. What is it? Li Ainani. What is the meaning of it? I have two eyes. Okay. So what is Li? Jar Maju, Shubhu Jumla, Khabar. Where is Muptada? Ainani. Is it Marfu? Why? Alif is there. Huh? MashaAllah, MashaAllah. Okay, but then comes Wow. Ataf. What is Uznani? Then again, wow came. Huh? What is yadani? Huh? It will go to the first. And rijlani? We cannot say they are all muptadas. There is only one muptada, which is ainani. And the rats are all connected to the ainani by way of ataf. Connect, a conjunction. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Fi hazal hayji. What is the meaning of hayji? Neighborhood. Hayji, neighborhood. Sabab. Neighborhood, we can say. You know, like you, you have Oakwell, and then you, uh, uh, you have. Uh, Oakwell is not a city. It is. A, I, I think I will call Oakwell neighborhood or Woodbridge. Uh, Okay, so uh, East York, you know, these are small, small things, you know. Uh, Richmond Hill, uh, suburb you can say, suburb. Hayyi means suburb you can say. Okay. Fi hazal hayyi madrasa tani. What is it? Madrasa tani. Okay. How will you translate? In this neighborhood, there are. Two schools. That's all. In this neighborhood, there are two schools. What is fi? Haza. And what is al hai? Badal. Huh? It is badal. Sahi? Where is our muptada? Madrasatani. Huh? Badal. So many examples with badals are coming. Huh? You, you, you are getting extra practice now. Okay, fine. Salatul Fajri. Raka atani. Raka atani. Salatul fajri. How many words are there? Salatul fajri. What kind of a compound is this? Mudaf mudafili. So what is salatu? Muptada. Wahua mudaf. And fajri is mudafili. And where is our khabar? Raka atani. Got the idea? Is raka atani one word? Yes. Is it marfu? Yes, it is marfu. Very good. Lil baiti. Yes, brother Farooq. Uh, number five. But where's the cover? Number five. 
Farooq, your question is, what is the khabar in number five? Khabar in number five is, Fi Haza. Are you with me? Fi Haza is Jar Majroor, Shibu Jumla Khabar. And then, Al Hayyi is your Badal. Huh? And Madrasatani is your Muftada. Got the idea? Inshallah. Number seven, Lil Baiti. These are very simple sentences, brother. But only they are in dual form. The Muftada is in dual form. Lil Baiti, what is Lil Baiti? Jar Majur Shibu For the house. What is for the house? There are two keys. Miftahani. Mif. Miftahani. Miftahani. Lil Baiti. Mif. Tahani. So Miftahani is your Muftana. Huh? And Lil Baiti is your Khabar. Jar Majru Shibu Jumla Khabar. Liman hata nil bakaratani. Liman hata nil bakaratani. What is your answer? Huma lil fallahi. Huma lil fallahi. So brother, Huma is your Mubtada and Lil Fallahi is your Jar Majur Shibu Jumla Khabar. Alhamdulillah. Okay. Number nine. Ahaza nit tabibani. Ahaza nit tabibani. Min in Kaltarra. Are they from UK? La. Huma min Faransa. Huma min Faransa. What is Huma? Muktada. Where is our khabar? Min Faransa. What is Min Faransa? Jar Majru. Shibu Jumla Khabar. MashaAllah. Alhamdulillah. Fi kariyati masjidani sagirani. Now you see here, fi kariyati. How many words? Three. Fi, half chair. Kariyati is a majroor. Wa huwa mudaf. And ya mutakallim, mudaf ilayhi. Fi kariyati, jar majroor, shibu jumla khabar, mukaddam. And what is masjidani? Mubtada. Huh? Is it marfu? Yes. What is the sign of its marfu? Alif. And what is sagirani? Naat. MashaAllah. MashaAllah. Beautiful. Huh? Beautiful. Now, brothers and sisters, we come to number three. Once you understand the basic, it's all easy. The only thing is, now you will go home and write it. Huh? Inshallah. <coughs> Read the following example and then put in the empty spaces <coughs> Tamiz. Huh? Okay? Li kam. Wada bit. Wada bit. Akhirahu. The last of it. Akhirahu. Fine, brother. The example are see. Kam ukhtan laka. Kam kalaman indaka. Do you see? Ukhtan laka. Kalaman indaka. So, with, uh, with your relatives, you will use laka. And with things possessed that you possess, in laka. And then comes sayaratan fil jamiyati. And the noun underlined is mansub. And what is it? Tamiz. Huh? Got the idea? It is tamiz. Okay, Sister Salma. Now. Kam kalaman indaka. You will form the sentence by using kam kalaman indaka. So all that you are using is tamiz. Huh? Okay. Laka has come. What will you use? Kam uchtan akhan ibnan bintan. Are you with me? Kam, how will you say? Ukhtan laka, fine brother. Abir, fi hazi shari, what do you see in the street? Sayaratan. Sayaratan, or you can say kam fundukan. How many hotels? Kam fundukan or kam sayaratan. 
we cannot count sayaratan there are too many kam fundukan huh? or if you are passing by york mills and lesley you can say kam baitan kabiran <laughs> how many big houses are in this street okay now fi kariyati ka in your village sister sukhaina what will you say kam masjidan fi kariyati ka got the idea inshallah now sister naima fi faslikum what will you say in the class what is in your class taliban so what will you say kam taliban how many yeah. or you can say kam saburatan how many blackboards in your class okay fine this is very nice sister fatima fis sanati what do you have in sana shahar so what will you say kam shaharan what will you say are you with me what is the meaning of shaharan months what you what do you say write down kam shaharan huh? sisters is it all clear sister maimuna sister abir inshallah hafsa sister sumaiya does it make sense now huh? okay you got to work hard huh sister inshallah fine what is the you can say two months ha huh? ji you can say two months no no answer will be different we are we are only practicing how to ask a question huh? in this particular case your answer can be any anything huh? fine okay sister uh, sumaiya is it your turn darrajatan is a bicycle so what will you say kam wheels kam ajalatan what is it kam ajalatan okay brothers and sisters kam ajalatan ha huh? ajalatan ajalatan one second please ajalatan okay kam ajalatan lid daraj how many by, uh, wheels to the bicycle not in asking question after come see there is a good question huh? if there is a confusion it should be removed when you are asking question with come the tamiz has to be singular noun it can never be plural or dual are you with me after come the tamiz that we are using has to be singular Huh? so you will say for example kam baitan kam kalaman kam kitaban kam dularan kam sayaratan huh? and kam ajalatan kam shahran kam kam ibnan kam bintan kam ukhtan kam akhan kam sadiqan huh? always singular huh? fine uh, sister uh, uh, Arifa, fi gurfatika. What will you say? What did she say? Kam sariran. That's good. How many beds in the room? Huh? Very good. Kam sariran, fi gurfatika. Huh? Or you can even say kam kursiyan. Or you can say kam nafizatan. But kam sariran is a very beautiful question. You got it. Brother, and yes, sister. No, that is the way we we say how many, and then whatever we are saying, how many is in how many pens in English? What will you say? Pen, but in in Arabic, it it when you translate, it will be pens. 
but we will say come and then singular noun. Baitan. Hamis. Mansub. Got the idea? That we have to just understand it. After come, singular noun will come. Huh? Singular noun will come. Okay? Inshallah. Huh? Okay. And by doing all these, you will inshallah make yourself strong. Remember, no plurals, no duals, only singular. Okay? Again I say, kam kalaman, kam kitaban, kam masjidan, kam mudarisan, kam taliban, kam talibatan, kam sayaratan, okay? kam kursiyan, kam sariran, kam nafizatan, kam baban, how many doors to the house? Kam baban lil baiti. Okay? How many doors are in the house? Like that, you know. We are using singular, but if translation in English will be plural. Yeah. Huh? Okay? Now, another thing. See, let me tell you something. As, which, as soon as you ask a question with kam, the tamiz has to be used. It will be singular. But when you translate, you can translate the way we translate in English. How many pens do you have? Huh? But tamiz will be singular now. Nothing else. Huh? Inshallah. Okay, brother. Change the muftada into dual. Example is given. Haza kitabun. What will be the hazani kitabani? So who's next now? Sister Maimuna. Haza kalamun. What will you say, sister? Hazani kalamani. Fine. This is very easy. Here you have been given one example. Hadihi mistaratun. Hatani mistaratani. What will you say? Hatani. Sister Nasrin. Hatani mistaratani. Mistaratani. Dual. Okay. Sister Nusrat. Hadha talibun. Hadhani talibani. But the Farooq, Hadhi talibatun. Hadhi will change into Hatani talibatani. Hatani talibatani. Are you with me? You cannot say Hatani talibani. It has to be Hatani talibatani. Okay? Hatani. Tali ba Hatani Taliba Tani. Got the idea? Hatani Taliba Tani. Okay, Brother Farooq, what is Hatani? Okay. What will you call Hatani? Muftada. And where is the khabar? Talibatani. These are two female students. Huh? Okay. Fine. Brother Hassan. Hazar Rajulu Mudarisun. Now this is a very beautiful sentence, brother. Mashallah, Mudarisani. Mashallah. See? Hazanir Rajulani. Hazanir Rajulani Mudarrisani. Maybe I should write it, huh? Okay, I will write down in red. Okay, brother? Ha Zanir Rajulani Mudarri Sani. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Look at it properly. Hadha nirrajulani mudarrisani. Sister Abir, I want you to analyze it. Yes. 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 It is khabar. See, if you say naat, then where is the khabar then? Huh? If you say it is naat, and it, it, in order to be not, it has to be al-mudarisan. Yeah. So it is not al-mudarisan. 
So Hazani is your Muftada. Arajulani is your Badal. And Mudarisani is your Khaman. Huh? Brother Salman? You got it? Brother Muhammad? Yes. Huh? Everybody? Sister Maimuna? Inshallah? You got it, Sumaya? Hafsa? Sister Salma? Inshallah. Okay. Now, uh, Brother Abdus Samad? Hazani Talibani min al Hindi. Okay. Hazani Talibani min al Hindi. So, what is Hazani? Muftada. And what is Talibani? Badal. And where is the Khabar? Jar Majul. Shibu Jumla Khabar. MashaAllah. Excellent. Brother Salman? What did you say, brother? No, it is Hazihi. So what will you make Hazi into? Hatani. Not Hatani Saatani min al Yabani. So if you say Hatani Saatani, what is Hatani? Uptada. What is Saatani? Badal. And where is the news? Min al Yabani, Jal Majur, Shibu Jumla Khabar. Brother. Muhammad number eight. Hadi Hatani Sayaratani Sayaratani No, but you want Lil Mudi. No, if you say Lil Mudi Rani, it will be wrong. You know why? You can say. You can use Lil Li, but then Mudi Rani will change into Mudi Raini. What will you say? Then it will change into Mudi Raini. But Dr. Saif has not introduced Majroor form. So we are only using Marfu form of the dual. Are you with me? Let us use Majroor form now that Brother Muhammad has used it. You will say, Hata Nisayaratani Lil Mudi Raini. Mudi Raini, Mudi Raini, Mudi Raini. Are you with me? So what? Because Hafjar came. So the Hafjar is a Majroor. So Mudirani has to change into Mudiraini. But we are not doing that. We are giving two cards to the Mudir. Because he deserves it. Huh? Okay. Hatani <laughs> Sayaratani Lil So Hatani Murtada Sayaratani is your Badal. And then Jar Majur Shibu Jumla Khabar. MashaAllah. Okay, Sister Salma, you have. Liman Hazanil Miftahani. Miftahani. Liman Hazanil Miftahani. Got the idea? Inshallah.